back to the coach's call. Thank you so much for having a listen. Please consider subscribing. Uh, it just takes a couple of minutes. It's free and you get notified whenever I have something to say, if you want to listen to you know what I have to say. And, you know, I'm getting some views, so I appreciate it. If you can if you can subscribe and we can spend some time together. Look, I want to cover the Toronto Maple Leafs. Brian, one of our co-hosts, you've seen him on here um, sometimes in, in other episodes. He messages me last night and he's pretty excited about the Toronto Maple Leafs winning. And we have a little bit of an exchange and he's like, you can't admit that the Toronto Maple Leafs deserve to win. And I say this to him and I'm going to say it to you too. The Toronto Maple Leafs didn't deserve to win the game last night. They didn't deserve to win the game before, but they did win. And the credit that I'll give the Toronto Maple Leafs and what I said to Brian and, and is this. The Toronto Maple Leafs are a different team than they were two years ago. They didn't collapse. They didn't fold. They actually came back. And so they are a good team. They've got some talent. And when you have the talent and skill and the makeup that they do this year, good teams will find ways to win. You could say, well, aren't the Tampa Bay Lightning a good team too? Yes, they are. But so are the Toronto Maple Leafs here, right? And so sometimes good teams, they rely on a little bit of luck here and there. And there was, there was a little bit of luck. Tampa Bay dominated that game last night. Uh, and they dominated the game before that they lost in, in overtime. The offensive zone numbers were out of, the, out of this world in that previous game, right? By statistics, the Toronto Maple Leafs should have lost. OK, and I know that if you're a hardcore Toronto Maple Leafs fan who follows Kyle Dubas and Sheldon Keefe and you're always telling us about, well, the stats and, you know, they got the numbers and they've done the studies. OK, well, look, it goes both ways. You can't have your team. Well, you know, we that's how we put the team together because we have the stats. And then you have a game like that. Well, no, the stats don't matter. They were the better team. They were the luckier team. Uh, it's a it's a game of, of seconds and inches. And, and, you know, the makeup of that team, which is better than it was two years ago, allowed them to win, okay? That's the makeup of the team. Look, a few episodes ago, I talked about the whole Cernak and Michael Bunting thing. And I said, Cernak is more important to the Tampa Bay Lightning than Michael Bunting is to the Toronto Maple Leafs, okay? Now, I know you want to say, oh, you're the Tampa Bay, you're making an excuse. They don't have Cernak and they're, that's why they're losing. No, I'm not making an excuse. What I'm saying to you is in a game of, of seconds and inches, you know, Cernak makes a difference on the Tampa Bay Lightning more than Michael Bunting does on the Toronto Maple Leafs because the Toronto Maple Leafs have more depth than they've ever had in previous years. If Michael Bunting, his suspension, I think, is over now, do you bring him back if you're the Toronto Maple Leafs? Me? Nope. Wouldn't bring him back. Sorry, Michael. Uh, have a seat. We'll let you know when you're coming back in line. I think he'd be more of a detriment to the Toronto Maple Leafs at this point than he is an asset. Okay. But it's unfortunate what happened with Cernak. I think part of that kind of set the stage for the rest of the series and some of the shenanigans we're seeing. Uh, you know, Victor Hedman was hurt there for a while. He didn't look right to me uh, this last game. Um, there's just a distance in his eyes. I don't know if he's hurt. It'll be interesting to see what, what happened at the end of the series, uh, you know, what we do find out. But Hedman just seemed a little off, even though he's logging minutes and, and whatnot. He just, uh, you know, seemed a little off. Look, what do you do if you're the Toronto Maple Leafs now going into this next game? And I, it, it look, it, they've been in a situation where it was 3-1. We've all witnessed the meltdown, okay? Toronto Maple Leafs ha uh, fans have had their own meltdown when that has happened, okay? Now, Brian will say to me, well, you love the Habs and you're living in the past because this is different. It was through it. You're right. It, it's different. These are not the Montreal Canadiens, but these are the Toronto Maple Leafs. And the environment is still Toronto. And the culture is still Toronto. Okay. And they're going to go out there. And if you're Sheldon Keefe, you have one job this next game. Keep them loose. Don't let them think about it was 3-1. Don't put the pressure on them of, you got to close this out. We got the stranglehold. Don't talk about what happened in a negative way in the past. You got to keep it positive. You got to, um, you know, let them know all the things that they're doing right. Heck, bring in a psychologist if you have to. Make them forget that it was 3-1 and, and sort of change the narrative for that team. And you're going to know in the first few minutes, if they came, if they come out, like they did in that in that first game, a little tight, squeezing the sticks, uh, a little tentative. 
they're going to be done. They're not going to win that game. Okay. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see if they can come back if Tampa Bay capitalizes. Right. But if they can't, if they come out loose, if they come out hard, um, you know, if they come out like, Hey, this is just another game and we're going to play our game and, and we know we could do it. Then they're going to close out the series in Toronto. If you're the Tampa Bay lightning, John Cooper, give your team a, a day of retreat. Okay. Uh, you're down three, one. I, I would give them a, a day of retreat. Um, you know, mentally, they're probably a little bruised having lost the last two in overtime after having dominated, uh, you know, most of the game. But the Tampa Bay Lightning can't afford to take 12 minutes off against a team like the Toronto Maple Leafs or they're going to they're going to lose the next game. So I would put up the material. Look, the Montreal Canadiens beat these guys. They sorry, not this version of the team. They beat the Toronto Maple Leafs and it was 3-1. And we're a better team than that version of the Montreal Canadiens. And so I would put that material up and I would let them know you still have a shot at this and you were in every game and it could have gone either way and everybody's expecting you to lose, right? So go out there and just be you, but be you for a full 60 minutes and I would leverage that. All right, folks, that's my call here on the Coach's Call. Thank you for listening. Let's see what happens with the rest of the series. And please subscribe if you have a moment. Take care, everybody.